the outfit, but listen, I know you're really busy getting ready and all, but do you just have a few moments to talk about some of the amazing animals that you interact with? Robbie, of course, man. I always got a couple minutes to talk about these amazing animals. Awesome. Well, hey, can you tell us a little bit about something about uh, what you've learned from the whales here in Seawolves? Well, you know, everyone, I've been fortunate enough to work here for a little bit over, well, almost 15 years now. It's been the most amazing experience ever. We learn something brand new every single day. But I gotta say, I think the thing that we've learned the most about these animals is actually what happens between a mother and a cat. Now, do I have any parents out there tonight? Oh, that's awesome, guys. Congratulations. Now, the cool thing about being human beings is that we get to see our youngsters grow up and interact with them very closely. But very little is actually known about how mother killer whales and their calves uh, respond to one another and how they interact with one another. Now because we work with these animals 24-7, we're able to see some really awesome stuff. The first time they take a breath, the first time they start nursing from their mom, when they start interacting with the other whales. Now you parents out there, I'm sure you have little marks on your wall somewhere in your house where you measure your children as they get older. And believe it or not, we actually do the same things with our killer whale. Now we don't mark it on the stage, but we actually measure these whales about twice a month so we can track how big they grow and how fast they grow, how fast the boys and the girls, uh, how, they, how they grow in different ways from one another. The other thing that's really cool is that once a week we'll actually weigh them to see how big they're getting as they grow. And guys, I gotta be honest with you, the coolest thing about this job is all that information that we get to see from spending time with these animals each and every day, we can share that with scientists and conservationists out there in the wild, and that hopefully helps them do their job a little bit better too. Oh, that's amazing. Now tell us, how many whales are there here at Shamu Stadium? You know, right here at Shamu Stadium, we have a family that's made up of seven different killer whales. Wow, seven whales. Now, how old are the whales in SeaWorld? You know, right here in SeaWorld, Florida, our youngest whale is about four years old now, and our oldest whale is right around 38 years old. But guys, check this out. Just a month ago, out at our sister park in SeaWorld, San Diego, we had a calf born. So he's in his first month of life. I think that's an amazing thing. And at that very same park in San Diego, California, we've got a whale who is nearly 50. 50 years, and that's incredible. Now, listen, I got one more question for you guys. This is a question on everyone's mind tonight. Dan, what whale are you going to be interacting with tonight? You know, tonight, guys, I get the absolute pleasure of working with both one of the most amazing whales I've ever met. Her name is Katina. Now, Katina's our matriarch here. She's a 38-year-old female. She's kind of our big boss lady, and I gotta be honest with you guys, she was the first killer whale that's ever given birth to a killer whale in a facility like ours. So she started it back in 1985. She had our first baby Shamu, and I, other than my mother, she's the best mother that I've ever seen in my entire life. She's absolutely amazing. And the cool thing about it, she's also our highest jumper and our fastest swimmer, and I cannot wait for you guys to meet her tonight. I think you're gonna love her. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to that part. Dan, thanks so much for talking with us tonight, and we're looking forward to an awesome show. You got it, Robbie. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back with you.